or guys kind of crazy couple weeks um things closing things with weird hours and all of that um definitely praying for everyone one first of all i am here if you guys need anything of course always phone call text whatever if you don't have my number well you know maybe you have me on social media or something but if you guys need anything i'm here uh, right now, there's been a lot of, like, stuff going around of, like, here in San Antonio, but also back home. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this video is stop, like, being mean to people in the service industry right now. They have cut hours or they're not working. Um, I've seen a lot of things of, like, You should have had a job like where you got your degree and they're taking care of you and blah 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 and first of all let me tell you a lot of people in the service industry are only in the service industry because they're actually using that money to pay for school to get that degree to get that better job to get like you know Everyone is in different parts of their life and different parts of like, you know, their story. So stop judging people. If they work in a bar, if they work at a restaurant, if they work, I don't know, like on the freaking corner, like stop <laughs> judging, like to each their own. I have nothing against anyone working any place particularly. Um, like instead of pushing those people like further down than what they already are like help people like be there ask your neighbors hey do you need anything ask your friends hey are you good like you know i went to hb the other day and all the shelves are empty did you get everything you needed like little things not even necessarily you have to buy them stuff just check on your people everyone is like quarantined and like practicing social distancing so you know pick up a phone facetime your friends call your friends check on them check on them check on them you don't know how many people are struggling right now with just different mental health issues and they get out of the house and like socialize with people so that they're not in their thoughts so that they're not just in bed all day so that they can actually be doing stuff um check on your people i cannot stress that enough like if you need someone to talk to you again i'm here um let me find out you're being mean to these bartenders because i'm just kidding but really though like you guys are all being mean to like really mean to people in the service industry right now and i think you guys need to take a step back and realize like man these people did not plan to be like without a job for this long they did not plan on their restaurant spars closing they still are people who have bills and like everyday necessities that they need to be able to provide some of them have families some of them have like you know dogs whatever it <laughs> the case being everyone has like their own stuff so don't knock these people down, like, don't do that, be a good person, be a nice person, check on your people, to the service and bartenders that are without hours, jobs at the moment, something to think about, I guess, or at least this is how I'm taking it, and trying to take it, trying to be as positive as I can and even though like all this is really scary but trying to stay positive because like I said I know that everything is going to work out without a doubt I have faith that it will but something to look forward to or at least like maybe think about I don't know I'm also a little different so I could be thinking about this completely different from how you guys are but after everyone is like not everyone, but all this stuff has passed. People are going to be so tired of 
cooking food by themselves. Everyone is going to be like tired of being like encerrados. So they're going to be out at the restaurants. They're going to be out at the bars. They're going to be out at the clubs. They're going to be out drinking and like enjoying stuff. So look forward to that. Look forward to, you know, you guys will make your money back. You guys will come out of this more than okay. Um, to the people that do go out after all this stuff passes, always tip. Remember to tip your bartenders, your servers, take care of them. Um, especially because I haven't been like with the job throughout all of this. The people that are ordering stuff right now like stuff to go and like all of that definitely support your local restaurants support your local businesses um i know a lot of the restaurants are doing takeout services so you know doordash favor Uber Eats, all that stuff make sure you're tipping them too they're out and about the streets like making sure you guys are not out and like you know they can get sick too it's kind of like make sure you're tipping make sure if you're able to support the local restaurants or restaurants in your area definitely do that um and hopefully all this passes as soon as possible but like i said don't be ugly to each other look each other up you guys are always in my prayers and if you need anything let me know